Recently, I went thrifting in Boston. I went to three different stores. I was with my daughter and a good friend of mine who's also a reseller, and I came across one store that had an absolute hoard of Lululemon. Look at this, guys. This is all just Lululemon, so if you wanna see all of the pieces that I got and also a couple items from different brands, keep on watching. Hey guys, it's me Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet, welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller mostly on eBay and Poshmark. I do sell locally at an antique mall and occasionally make Mercari and Depop sales and even more occasionally Facebook Marketplace. And like I said, I recently went up to Boston with a friend of mine and my daughter. We thrifted pretty much the whole day. I spent an obscene amount of money, especially for me and especially for someone that doesn't really have a lot of space for things. Um, but I had really good luck up there and I was really excited. So this is going to be the first part, part one in a three part thrift haul. So you'll be seeing items from the Boston thrift stores that we went to for the next three weeks. Um, but yeah, this, like I showed in the intro, this is all Lululemon from one store. So I broke out the three parts by store and we're gonna start with this one because this one's the most exciting and also I wanna get my button gear to get things listed because this is what I really love to sell and I was so stoked to find all of this. So yeah, let's get started. I spent $153 on items to resell and this specific store is 27 items. 23 of them are Lululemon. That's like 88%, I think. Um, and I paid 567 on average for everything. So yeah, let's dive in. First, we're gonna start with the Lulu because that's the easiest and it's right here in my reach. So most of them are sports bras. A lot of them are the same sizes, eight, 10. I think there's one or two size 12s in here. Nothing is listed as of yet, but I did take a painstakingly long time to look through Lulu Fanatics and I found the style names for literally all of these pieces, um, which really helps me with my listings because yes, I do use stock photos on Poshmark. I don't use them on eBay, but even just having the style name is super helpful when it comes to selling activewear, which is the majority of what I sell. So there were 24 pieces of Lululemon at the store. I only left one of them behind just because it was a it was like a space dye marled pattern long sleeve um but it was definitely a dated style so i did leave that one behind but yeah let's dive right in so this first bra is a size eight some of them have the the size dots with like the letters and numbers so you could easily find them some did not this one has, if you'll see there, a logo on the front. This is the Peloton logo, if you did not know. It looks like a P. It's hard to sell, tell because of the pattern. It's a little bit more focused now, but it's a black and white like dot pattern with the Peloton logo in the front. And then strappy back. Again, size eight. Uh, a lot of the same styles, but in different colors and patterns. This one's a size 10. I believe this one is the energy bra, possibly. Here's the front of this one and the back. This one to me looks kind of like, like a galaxy print. This one definitely needs a wash because it's got a lot of deodorant stains. This one's a size eight. This one is a classic black. Another strappy number, and one of these straps on each side is like black, if you can see. Black with like gray striping. This bra is called the Straight Up Bra. This one was probably one of the hardest to find. This is a size eight. I've had a pair of leggings in this same pattern before. Um, no longer have them, but I did have them at one point. This one's not super strappy, just one strap on each side, but the straps are kind of like a see-through mesh in the middle part, which I thought was kind of interesting. Also, some of these have the bra pads, some of them don't. Some of them have only one bra pad, so I will just 
take that one out when I list them. This one I might try to see if it fits me because it does have some dye transfer, but all the other ones are in excellent pre-owned condition. This one is the Invigorate Bra. It is a pink color, which is not normally my thing, but that's fine. And it's got mesh detail on the back. But like I said, it does have dye transfer like in the eh, in the armpit area. It's got like a little bit of blue dye here and I think it's on the other side. Yeah, the other side's worse as well. So I don't know, uh, it must have come from like maybe their over shirt or whatever, but I'm gonna see if this one fits me and if it does then I'll just keep that and not list it. Um, this is a size eight as well like a pink pattern I think this is the stash and run bra I just found a tank top recently that was the stash and run tank top it's got like these little pockets here on the top like this black part in the back and you can stash like credit cards or a key or whatever money in there Another energy bra, I'm pretty sure. You guys will be seeing the listings, so you'll see all the style names. This is a size eight. Kind of like an ombre pattern with speckles. You guys are probably gonna get bored of sports bras by the end of this. This one, I wanna say this is the free to be serene or something like that if I remember correctly from doing all those hours of research. It literally took me hours. But this one's a blue and black floral pattern. Strap you back. Another energy bra. This one is a size eight as well. Most of them are a size eight. This one's black and gray with some dots as an accent. This is another Invigorate bra, like the pink one with the dye transfer, but this one is just a solid black. Mesh detail on the back. More black. Don't remember what this one is. It might also be the Free to Be Serene. There's some Free to Be Wilds in here. There's a few different ones. Eight as well. I know these are not the most exciting things to look at in a thrift haul but i'm just beyond excited at the insane amount that i found in one store energy bra in black size eight another energy bra this one's an eight this one's like a white and silver fox or something i think is the the grayish color just a couple more bras and then we'll move into some different Lululemon items. Size eight, blue and pink print on this one. Don't remember the name of this one. This one's different. Uh, this is a size 12. This one's a little smaller and the uh, front area and then it's like pretty much open with just some straps on the back and this should be the last bra this one only has one cup in it I can feel it this one's a size 10 nice bright neon pink probably should get this one listed first because Barbie core is still trending strappy back as pretty much all the other ones all right let's move on to some other pieces this one does not have its tear away tag so I will just measure it's a little bit of a dated style but I still think it will do okay and I'm not really expecting too much um, for these uh, I'm probably expecting 25 to 30 on the sports bras some of them if you get like a rare pattern can do a little bit better but this is like the run mod moves tee or something like that in a color block pattern and I will just do the measurements for that these my daughter found so she will get a cut of these because i had found by that point like 15 or so pieces of lululemon so i told her to look in the rack that i was looking at and if she found any i would just note which one she found and give her a cut and she missed three of them because i kept going in the area that she she searched um so she got annoyed and moved over to the leggings and then came back with this pair of Lululemon leggings. These are the Wonder Under, I think the high rise tight size eight. 
and they are just a black um, they do have if you spotted this an a very faded logo this is the pure bar logo or it was at one point and then on the leg it says pure bar team and it has some Massachusetts locations Dedham Brookline Boston Harvard Square on the leg but it's very faded so not a huge deal I still think they'll sell because you can't really even see it anymore anyways this is a reversible tank top but I'm not quite sure why they bothered making this reversible because it's the same color on both sides but it has the logo in both on both so again no size on this this is I think the cool racerback tank it looks very washed out on camera it's a very neon coral color in real life so measurements for that one two more tank tops this one's I think the wild wild tank not super desirable but i will always pick up lululemon for like five dollars and it has the built-in bra and like an open scoop back and this one is a size eight so if the tank top has a built-in bra you just look in the left cup like you would on a sports bra from lululemon and the size should be in there this one i think is the dance to yoga tank i'm trying to remember from all my research black and white print it's like the angel wing print or something along those lines mesh back again with the bra attached to it and this is a size 8 also this is a pair of leggings um, this these all had to be from the same person um, these are a size 6 I can't see why they wouldn't have been these also might be like a cropped wonder under I can't remember the patterns called like blurry bell or some something like that I think it's like blue and purple and yellow size six I don't know if I said that and then the last little lemon piece is staying with me it does not have a size that does not matter it will fit me and this is a black short sleeve top um, but it's got perforations or sometimes they're called vents and I actually am just about to list a yellow one that I have in this same style, but it's quite a bit smaller and yellow is not the best color for me. And also it's a little bit too small for what I like. So I'm gonna list that one and keep this black one for myself. All right, and then I got just a few more items. We've got one pair of shoes and these were at the register at the store and I happened to see them. So I decided to get them. Uh, they were $15, $14.99, um, and if I hadn't have gotten these, my cost of goods probably would have been right around $5, because I think all the sports bras were 5 bucks, and they have like standard pricing there where the items in this specific category are all one price. But these are Sorel sandals, red leather, lug sole. Um, they have maybe been worn one time or maybe just around the house uh, they are a smaller size i believe six and a half i haven't looked up the style name yet but they're in excellent condition so i grabbed those all right i got a couple other sports bras um but they weren't lululemon so this first one you guys know i'm no stranger to this brand this is peloton it's just Peloton branded, not Lululemon and Peloton or other brands in Peloton. And this is a size medium. I could possibly keep this for myself and I still might. So if you don't see the listing, that's where it ended up, but we'll see. And then this is the first time I've ever found this brand. Sadly enough, it does not have a size anywhere that I could find. Um, but I also don't know where to look for it if you know it's not readily available. But I decided to grab it anyways because I wanted to try it and I can always just measure the band and just put that in the listing. But this is PE Nation. I tried to look to see if they had the matching leggings because often these are sets, but couldn't find them. It's just got a star on the back. It kind of looks like a tee back almost. But yeah, I'm kind of excited to see how this does even though it doesn't have a size, which is a little bit of a bummer. Then I got two pairs of like active pants and a t-shirt for myself. 
We'll go with the t-shirt first. This is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It's a 2XL. This one's from Universal in Orlando, which I've been to quite a few times. Um, and most of you know, I'm a huge Potter head and I like my t-shirts to be oversized. So this is just a Harry Potter tee that's staying with me. And then yeah, two more items. So very heavy Lululemon haul, but my favorite things to sell is active wear. These, I believe, are a size medium. It's almost impossible to tell, but I'm pretty sure that's an M. Um, but the brand is Aloe Yoga, and these are a green stripe legging. Don't know the style yet. And then we have a pair of Madewell MWL, size medium, and these are a black jogger very soft so yeah that's it for my haul guys let me know how you think i did in the comments down below have you ever come across like a very huge supply of one brand in the thrift store this was the first time it happened to me besides um some madewell and levi's definitely the first time in the activewear section and it was like the best day ever um but yeah that's it for my haul thank you so so much for watching as always if you enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up it really helps me out here on youtube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me and if you're not already subscribed please consider subscribing i would love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet and i hope to see you next time bye guys